Good morning, guys. How y'all doing? Light your frontier. Uh, we played. All right, I played a couple episodes of the demo. It was fun. I'm sure there's a lot more to experience now that the game is actually released. I'm not sure if this is early access or not. I think it's the full release. I haven't gone past this screen, so I imagine there's some settings and volume and all that stuff I got to go through. But I figured bring you along. So I guess let's see what's next. Let's go through the settings. Could probably turn the music down a bit. Speech, that seems to be fine. That's fine. Display. I think we're going to leave this mostly default. Actually, the field of view will go up a bit. We don't care about camera shake or head bob. I'll leave this default. Uh, except for motion. Oh, that's already off by default, so that's cool. Bloom and lens flare. We'll leave those alone unless they're bothersome. Alright. We're not going to mess with the controls, though. That looks good to me. This is a multiplayer. I don't know if it's... I think it's probably co-op. I doubt this is an online thing. Anyway, we're gonna do single player for now. Start new game. Uh, how about... Wobble Pop. Earth's no good anymore. Some, like you, have taken off for the Lightyear Frontier. You want a fresh start. A new home. That's a rough landing. And that was very loud, so I'm not sure. Hopefully it's not loud to you guys. But that was crazy on the headphones. Alright, we're in. Turn the sensitivity down on the mouse. Find my mech. Seems to be running our... Ah, it's a little stuttery. I'll let it run a minute before I mess with the settings. The game looks amazing, though. I don't typically play games that look like this. The graphics don't always look good. But this looks great. Got some flying craters. It's so bright and welcoming. It really does look good. Plants look fantastic. Giant friggin' tree. I imagine at some point we'll be able to see this tree up close. I mean, so far, it's running pretty decent. Oh, our mech's over there. Let's go get the mech. It's a nice waterfall. I, have, I wonder if there's something behind there. The hell? Uh, you're a little fuzzy there. I didn't hear you. Strike and grab. All right, we're farming. Getting some stone. Press to launch. Oh, yeah, yeah. We can only pick this stuff up with the mech. 
I mean, we can carry it around like this, but it doesn't... Finally, I'm getting through. That was quite the tumble you took there. Luckily, your biometrics tell me you're A-OK. -okay. But before anything else, let's put that mech of yours back in one piece. Okay, hold on. I gotta turn the audio down. I was looking at OBS and it was completely pin, uh, pinned. Attach the... Oh. Attach these stuff and things. Um, the arm. Oh, hey, look at you. I remember you. Oh, what the hell? Swift plume. Okay. You seem irritated. I'm not sure if there's anything that can actually harm you. At least it wasn't in the demo. Now flip that sucker sunny side up and hop in. We got a planet to explore. Red up and ready to go. Oh, exciting. All right, let's pick this stuff up. You just walk over it. Excuse my manners. One kind of stops expecting guests after 200 years. Name's PIP3R. That's Piper for sure. Up there in the sky. That blinking dot is yours truly. But enough introductions. Let's get you situated and make you at home. Find the irrigation hose. Find the seed shooter, spike saw, sprout cannon, vacuum harvester. Harvester. And that's all those yellow smoky things. That one's the closest, I think. I don't know what that one is. And if I remember correctly... Oh, I don't have anything to do anything, so that's what these are for. Now we can vacuum up water. Blah, 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 blah. Instant resources. We do need this. This is aluminum. It never ceases to amaze. That magnificent mech. Those high-powered tools. And even that ship of yours. The Farm Mech Project really was extraordinary. Such a shame that it got cancelled in the end. Well, let's head over here and grab whatever part this is. I want to thank you guys for joining me. You guys are awesome. Remember, don't forget to like if you want to see more. That's how I know you guys enjoy the content. And we'll come back for that. Because if this is the harvesting arm, then we won't have to get out of the mech. Nope, that's the... Not sure what that was. Got some new recipes unlocked. Might as well it grab this while we're here. It why Earth was so quick to give up on the Farm Mech Project. Sending us probes out to the edge of the galaxy to scan for hospitable planets. That was no small feat. Desperate times, I suppose. Don't mind me, guys. Just passing through. I think in the demo I built... What did I build? I think I built over here by the beach. By that tree.
That's our harvester. So now we can cut stuff down like this tree. Plant fiber, stuff and things. Some stone. All right, where's the next pieces? There's well, abandoning the Latyr frontier for Mars does make some sense. It was a lot closer and would sustain Earth's population, at least for a while. Come over here, we'll grab these, and then we'll start um, planning where we're going to live. Man, that looks amazing. They did a good job. The, the game looks great. Where is... Okay, over here. So this area we gotta clean up, get rid of all these weird slime spots. Slime puddles. What the heck is that thing? I don't know, there's so much stuff to see. Pretty sure I went the wrong way. Yeah, I did. I don't know if there's fall damage. I suppose we're gonna find out. Should I even go down here? Yeah, why not? Uh, I don't think there's fall damage. I don't know if this is going to hurt us. I've never tested it. Doesn't look like it. There's our water sprayer, which I think... Yeah, that destroys the slime. And then when you're out of water, you go and vacuum some more up. But be careful uh, going in the water. Uh, water's bad in this game. How do I get over there? Is it down below? Can we make it across this? <laughs> Probably not. Ten percent. Think about the thousands of people who initially came to the frontier, taking a chance on this one-way trip, only to get abandoned. But for generations, they've managed to thrive here. Your neighbors are quite tenacious, huh? Okay, we found our tools. Let's see, plant your first seed. Build small plot. Build fodder, build, build, build. Okay, and restore pine heights. We need to find a place to live. Oh, that laser is annoying. Need more water. I guess Look, we could build here. I know you weren't sent here for a mission that's been canceled for nearly two centuries. You probably found that ship in a scrap heap somewhere and took off a greener pastures, right? No need to answer. It doesn't matter anymore. I'm just happy to finally have some company. What is this? What are you? A crobbling. Everyone's sleeping. We're gonna let them be. Oh, I guess we could build here. It's flat. Tons of land. What is this? Basic fodder. Oh, that's a uh, one of their homes. Yeah. I guess we can start harvesting. We need trees. We need wood. I don't want to destroy all the forest right here because it looks cool. Yeah, we'll build here. It's nice and flat. Plenty of ground to cover. Alright, I did a little bit of harvesting. 
And just in time for sunrise. Looks bitchin'. Look at this. This game is very cinematic. If I think that's the right word, I don't know. It's pretty. Well, thanks for watching the sunset with me, folks. Okay, enough dicking around. I'm encumbered, yeah, I know. And it's why is over encumbered a thing? It's not over encumbered, it's just encumbered. Yeah, I get it. Okay, let's build. Uh, economics. How do I get to the building in this game? I forgot. B. Wow, alright. So we need to build workshop? Or workshop shed. Uh, let's see. How about diagonally? And we'll just put it right. There's a beach there. Oh, what happened? Oh, it's the next day. Day two. We survived. Hey, hope you're well this fine morning. Those new meth parts made a world of difference. The best looking ride in the frontier for sure. Now this should make things easier. Uh, build? Oh, there it is. Add max. Build an oil pressure in oil oil presser inside the shed. Build a place to sleep, water oven, small plot, upgrade depot. Whole lot of stuff. Maybe we should leave the mech behind if we want to get close. Well, we don't want to get close to anything right now, lady. Hyper. I guess we're going to put storage right here for now. I'll put a couple. We are full, or at least it's all done by weight. Actually, we're not full anymore because we're using our stuff. We're out of wood already. Oil presser, which is... Right here. We need more wood. Uh, rotate. Let's rotate. We get it in the corner. Come on. Let's go. Storage and range. Oh, that's cool. can make good use of this. And you can move the stuff around too, so it's fine. Alright, more wood. Your mechs get the daylights out of them. Alright, I harvested up some stuff. I'm trying not to clear these out, but I have a feeling I'm going to be clearing them out. Unless I go up here and get some of the bigger stuff, which probably would make more sense than you know, destroying all the smaller stuff down here. But it's fine. We'll figure it out later. Okay, build. Craft any oil. That's fine. We need to build a place to sleep. Which is... Where would that be? Probably here. A little small tent. We'll put it looking... Right here by the water. Where are we? There's the workshop. Entrance to the beach. No, no, no. How about... No, I'll just put it right here. That way we have a view. Of... I'm not sure what half of this is, but eventually we'll figure that out. 
Go to sleep. I don't want to sleep right now. Go to fodder oven. Uh, fodder oven. Okay, so this is gonna spit stuff out. Is it easier to build outside the map? for some manual labor. Maybe. Mm, not, no, not really. Quite the opposite, actually. The placement of things is a bit strange. That'll be useful. Uh, we don't have oil, but I think we can craft it. Let's see, open. Currently not crafting any. Well, yeah, I know, because we need to craft stuff. Oh, here we go. And it's just pulling stuff right out of the storage. Takes a bit of time, though, eh? 30 seconds to craft one oil. Alright. Well, while that's crafting, we'll set up the other stuff. Small plot and upgrade depot. Uh, let's see, small plot. Where did I see that? It's a flower bed. Where did I see the plot? Oh, it's right here. Where are we going to have the farm? I'm thinking back here somewhere. Yeah, put it over here. Or over here. How about right here? This looks great. We can make good use of this. I'm sure we can. Uh, upgrade depot, which is this. See, where do we want to put this? So that's going to be upgraded at some point into a big giant barn. So we should probably make sure we're not taking up a bunch of space with this thing. Probably put this by tent. That's kind of sort of where the mech would go. That'll work. Uh, aluminum frame, so we're a ways off for that. We can get stone, that's easy enough. It just spits it out on the ground. Can we, can we build this yet? Oh no, we need stone. Whoops. Alright. Let's get some stone. Alright, I got some stone. Probably not enough to uh, finish everything, but that's fine. Storage box. So I think if we just put everything in here... And, and so, wow, that doesn't hold much, does it? Alright, it should all pull from that storage. Yeah. Sharing is caring. Craft fodder in the fodder oven. Basic fodder. What do we need? Plant oil. Okay, so we got a bunch of that crafting, but it's going to take a little while. See, plant a seed in a mound. All right. Oh wait, we need to build this. Oh, we can't yet because we can't. Whoa! Look at the drifting. Oh man, this thing is all over the place. So plant a seed. Does it say what seed? 
Well, it just says plant a seed. Well, I have a feeling Polyberry would be more helpful. More useful. And let's see. Spike saw. Irrigation. Seed shooter. There we go. Can't wait to see it grow up. And you do have to water them, but since it's raining, we're fine. It'll water. It, it, obviously, it's going to water those. Build. Okay, well, we can't build that because we need to build the frames. Aluminum frame, and we need. Well, we can do the stone, but we still need the aluminum frame. I don't think we can build any of that just yet. Basic fodder. Uh, let's just build one. Feed, oh, we need two more. We have to build... Feed three... Feed, feed an animal three times. In English. Let's go feed an animal. Stretching the legs, huh? Can we feed him at night? Feed. Nice. Oh. I forgot you guys shit out sort resources for us. Frickin' aluminum rod, which we can't pick up yet. The wildlife here is amazing. <laughs> it is. Beat it and it shits out resource. Nice. I'm getting the mech to collect that stuff. Try not to walk over him. I don't think it hurts him. I'd rather not find out. I don't want to harm the little bastards. And now it wants us to sleep. We'll take a little nap. Resource boost, nests fed. Yeah, this game's chill. Hey, hope you're well this fine morning. The decorating you did yesterday really lit up the place. It's really beginning to feel like a home. Yeah, it's very pretty, Piper. So what do you guys think? It's a pretty chill game. As of right now, nothing harms us. I don't know if there is anything in the game that harms us. We're in the meadows, but as you can see... There's quite a lot to explore. This is going to be our next goal here. We have to cleanse the Pine Heights. I think that's what it's called. Restore Pine Heights. So we'll do that. And then continue exploring, gathering more resources, finish the base. There is a bit of a trading system in this. And certain materials, they'll go up in price or down in price. I predict this to go down. So if we had a whole shit ton of polyberries, we could sell all the polyberries and make some coin, and so on and so forth. Anyway, this game is pretty cool. I like it a lot. I hope you guys do uh, as well. So I am absolutely playing this some more. There's so many games right now, I'm gonna try to do a couple videos a day, uh, but we'll see what happens. That's a lot. Anyway, I wanna thank you guys for joining me. We're gonna continue this in the next episode and go clear out Pine Heights and see what happens after that. You guys are awesome. Thank you for all the support. If you want to see more, don't forget to like and subscribe. This is Wobble Pop Gaming, and I'll see you in the next one.